Hey guys, it's me, My Reborns, and I am back with another video. Today is Tuesday, November 1st, and it's currently 7.13 p.m. We have a late video today, but that is all right. It is November 1st, so this is the first video I am making for the month of November and this is also the first video that I am posting in the month of November because I will be uploading this video tomorrow for you all. And just cheers to November. We made it. We're almost done with the year. 2023 is approaching and we're still here and I'm very thankful and grateful and I hope everyone else is too. And before I get started in this video, I do want to say thank you guys for the endless amount of support. You guys have been so extremely kind to me. And you guys are definitely, definitely a major part in why I try to stay positive and be positive in situations where it seems like the only thing you can be is negative. So I do have you guys to thank for that. I love you all so, so much. And let's move on and let's get into this video. So I have Mr. Judas here and we are going to be changing him into a girl outfit. This baby is for sale. I lowered his price as well as his sister's price who is Symphony. She is Serenity by Lurley Eagles. Both of these babies are long sold out limited edition kits and they are both for sale. Sorry guys, those things in the background were distracting me so I have moved them. Anyways, I lowered their price drastically. <laughs> Um, so all of the babies that I have left for sale are very um, inexpensive. I don't want to say cheap because I feel like reborns are not cheap. But they are really, really inexpensive. And I lowered his price as well as her price. So if you're interested in them too, then let me know. I also lowered Claudia, Scarlett, and Sweet Pea's price. Those are the five babies that I have left available for sale. Um, Get them home in enough time for the holidays they are perfect holiday presents and they're at the perfect holiday price anyways let's just go ahead and change them we're going to change them into a girl outfit because i know girls a lot of you are girl moms okay most of the reborn community are girls no wait <laughs> i meant to say most reborn collectors are into the girl reborns more than the boy reborns. I'm a boy mom, but most of the reborn collectors are girl moms. That's what I meant to say. Okay, so I do want to change them to a girl just so you guys can see. Plus, I changed Symphony into a boy outfit so you guys can see how she looks. So it's only right if I change him into a girl outfit so you guys can see how he looks as a girl, even though I feel like he is all boy, but you never know. Maybe he tugs, he will tug at someone's heart as a girl. And there was something I was going to say, but I forgot. So anyways, he's going to be wearing this white onesie and it has pink polar bears all over it. He's going to be wearing that with these gray pants and it has ruffles on the butts. Little ruffle booty. Symphony had these pants on. They both got a chance to wear it before September. <laughs> and then we have these bear scratch mittens. Super cute. We have a headband, we have a passy clip with a pacifier, and we're gonna do his hair, and he's gonna look cute. <laughs> he does have socks on, so we're gonna take his socks off. And I know, this is what I was gonna say, I remember. I know I did say that um, this was gonna be the last time I changed him when I put him in this outfit. But I did want to bring him on one more time just so you guys can see him as a girl and see how cute he is. And I wanted to come on here and let you guys know that his price is lowered. So he's like very, very cheap. Or let me, let me not say cheap. He's very inexpensive like the rest of my babies. All of my higher priced babies are gone. And so well, I didn't really have a lot of higher priced babies except for Chandler who was my full white silicone. But we just have five babies left to make room for the nursery. I have my eye on a few babies. I know I said I wasn't going to get any babies this year. Um, but you know how that goes. You'll see a baby that you want and then 
you end up getting the baby. <laughs> but for me, I just been window looking and window shopping because I don't have any room for any new babies. But once I make room and clear out some of these babies, then I can actually pursue a baby and get another one added into my collection before the year is over. So that's why I am trying so hard to get them sold because there are a lot of babies up for sale right now, guys. There's a tons of babies up for sale. And they are all beautiful. But you know, there's always the few that you're like, I really wish that I can add this baby to my collection. And there's a few that I really wish I can add into my collection, but I can't until these cuties find a home. This baby painting is great. It's modeling. Red creases. One thing I can say is doesn't feel like he's like matted. And if he is, maybe this is like a satin varnish or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know any details about this baby except for his kit. So, yeah. I wish I should have brought some socks, right? Go put these pants on. I never bring socks. Well, sometimes I do, but I mostly always forget to bring socks. So... Baby's gonna be barefooted. And this is a newborn onesie, and that newborn onesie fits perfectly. And then this is a three month size pants because they're supposed to be for September because she didn't have any. Well, I didn't have any clothes that will fit her, so I got her some clothes. And uh, these are her pants or pants for her. So that's why they're so big, but they actually fit. They fit, little baby Nixon. Okay, so now we're going to add the pacifier clip. And I have headbands. So there's a white headband, pink. We need some new headbands because I'm going to send those back home with Symphony whenever she sells. So I'll need some for September. Okay, you want to hold your passy? These pacifiers are so cute. So we have scratch mittens. I'll put the scratch mittens on in just a minute. We have some water in a spray bottle. I'm going to grab the toothbrush. I went ahead and got a toothbrush. I can do their hair with it. I did end up getting my pink comb. You guys know this one i didn't end up getting it back but i just decided to just go ahead and get a toothbrush as well because i do like the toothbrushes better for the baby's hair so this is just water in here and i'm going to comb it with the baby comb i did just get his whole entire face wet i always do that i spray a lot of water on the baby's hair I still see all boy, but as always, you guys have to let me know in the comments. What do you see? Do you see girl? Do you see boy? Which one do you like better? Like him as a boy better or like him as a girl? Such a cute, grumpy baby. If you like babies that have expressions or are full of expressions, this would be a perfect baby for you. I have two smiling kids in my collection. My sunny kid, my April kid, and I absolutely love it. I know some people don't really like expressions on their babies, but I love it. It gives them like a little personality. <laughs> okay. Look at that hair. That hair all slick. Do I have a top to this spray bottle? Um, I don't know. If I did, I'll find it later. So we'll just do pink. For this headband. You know the headbands make or break it when you change the gender. 
and see. These babies can pull off any look, I tell you that. Any look. Look at the little um the little ruffle booty. And then this is Nixon's hair. If you guys wanted to see it close up, style it in any direction in any way. And when it is wet, it does have like a slight wave to it. I don't really want to say curl. I think I said a curl in the past, but it's more so like a wave. So that's his hair up close. Hopefully it showed pretty good on camera for you all. Okay, we're going to put his scratch or her scratch mittens on. And then we're going to close out this video. So again, if you guys are interested in him or any of my other babies, let me know. My Instagram is my discovery board. I have a clickable link in the description on all of my videos. And my email is in there as well, which is myrebarnsyt at gmail.com. And then again, as always, if you guys do message me, and you know, you want more information or you want more pictures or you want a prize or something along those lines, go ahead and just, you know, ask and I'll let you know and I'll send you the pictures and send you the details. But if you are not interested after you find out the price or you just didn't like what you see anymore, just go ahead and let me know. Just say, hey, I'm not interested anymore. And then that'll be that. Okay. Look at little Judas. He was a girl. I don't know what I would name him because he would have never been a girl. <laughs> okay, so I did want to also... Uh, show you guys the COA one more time. I was looking for an outfit for him to wear and I was like, oh yeah, it's COA because I was too lazy to find it when I changed him to that last outfit for the video he was in or that I did with him. So I grabbed it. He is an authentic sculpt. His baby Nixon by Joanna Casmir Zach. And even if a baby doesn't have a COA does not mean they are not authentic. If you guys are wondering because COA doesn't determine if a baby is authentic or not. But it does help if the baby does have one. <laughs> okay, so as you guys can see, he is a very small limited edition kit. Only 150 of him were made worldwide, and he is number 10. That is a super low number for both his sculpt as well as like the number all around. So only 150 of these kits were ever, ever made, never going to get produced again. That's why you guys have probably never heard of this kit or even seen this kit because... They're not really out there because it's not a lot of them. But anyways, he's number 10 out of 150. Again, this is Nixon by Joanna Kasmer, Zach. Um, our Joanna K, she makes beautiful scopes. The scopes are very hard to come by because they're usually a limited edition. And some are smaller than others, as you guys can see. So that's Nixon's COA. And that's me dressing Judas aka Nixon up as a baby girl and I have him I have Serenity by the Lady Eagles up for sale I, again I lowered both of their price all right guys so that is baby girl <laughs> and this is the outfit super cute outfit super cute scratch mittens this fancy clip is so cute made by alexis reborns 101 go subscribe to her and follow her and yeah he does not have a magnet for a pacifier i tested that out for you all here is his hair one more time and i'm unsure how many pounds he is he is fairly light i will say that his weight was a big issue with me trying to bond with him because he was super light, so I say he's about three or four pounds, if that. And I don't have a baby scale. But if you guys really want to know his weight, I can try to do something. I try to do it with Symphony. I have weighed myself because I don't have the regular adult scale. I try to weigh myself, then I weighed myself with me and her, and then I subtracted it, and it said if she was like five pounds. So I'm not sure how accurate that is, but that's the best I can do. So, yeah. Anyways, if you guys want to go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram, go ahead and do so at my underscore reborns. 
And if you guys like this video, make sure you guys give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including video requests, as well as if you guys like him better as a boy or a girl. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. Alright, I will talk to you guys later. Bye!